Right, this is my take on the uh, Sword of Omens from Thundercats. It's my own redesign of it. Uh, it's a project for Bolton University and I figured I'm going to make a sword and decided that I would uh, make a sword rather than a prop. Although it's not sharp, um, it's effectively just a prop, but it is made of metal, so it's as close as, it's as authentic as I could get it using lightweight materials. Uh, it's made out of aluminium. Uh, it's entirely made out of pieces, of, apart from the handle, which is a steel tube, it's entirely made out of pieces of half inch uh, flat bar aluminium. Uh, and it's effectively just band sword and cut and filed and sanded by hand, a uh, lot of work. But what I'm going to do is uh, take you through it step by step. I'll take it apart and you can get to see the way I've put it together um, and I'll, I'll explain it, how I've made each individual piece as I'm going. Uh, you know, it's all nice and shiny. Uh, it's took a hell of a lot of sanding to get it to that point, I've got to be honest. Uh, the back side isn't finished. And there's a couple of reasons for that, and I'll explain that. Uh, one of them is these bolts, these uh, uh, nuts and bolts that are going through there. The, the, the back of this was threaded for a screw that was the, the right width to go through, and basically the threads have stripped out, so I've had to put a bolt through. So until I get a slightly wider, probably a 5mm bolt, and uh, recess it and, and use the blade itself as the threaded part, uh, I'll not be touching this. Right, basically, in the end here, this was off a mountain bike, and it's aluminium, it's a Allen key, sorry, uh, just on the end. Right, now that comes off very easily. Uh, this was a piece of aluminium you found on a drinks optic system, uh, the sort of bracket that holds it on. It had a big half inch chunk sticking out of the side, so I've ground that off and I've uh, filed it back. A little bit rough, but it's all right. This mountain bike part, I've had to file this inside face down so it fits nicely in there. Uh, this screw, amazingly as well, had just happened to totally by chance fit the six mil bar, so uh, very lucky. Right, and next you've just got a nut holding the handle on. Uh, and a washer. And this again is out of a mountain bike, a uh, different type, different type of a uh, head tube fitting. And that also has had to be ground, had the O-ring taken out and been ground down. Um, and then you've got the handle, which just slots out. And you can see the tang of the sword that comes all the way through. And this has just got 6mm threaded bar into that. And we've got uh, two flat plates of alley. I can get it off. Uh, I had this piece lathed. And then a hole put through those, which the handle goes into. Uh, this was actually lathed down slightly, uh, just so it fitted. Because they didn't have the right size, cut, right size cutter. And then I've just drilled that out and uh, literally just filed it after it's been drilled to get the square to, to slide it over there. Right, the next thing is under these caps, are the screws holding it to the, obviously the nuts on the back. Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention, this piece slots over. This was uh, quite difficult to make. Actually, these two bits were quite difficult to make, I've got to say. Uh, basically used a milling machine on these. Uh, you can see how rough it is. Uh, manually milled it, the same with these sections in here. Uh, the outer surfaces were obviously cut with a bandsaw, and it's just two pieces uh, laid on top of each other, basically, and there's bolts behind there. You can see the back of them. Uh, just through that section. Uh, that's what it looks like after it's been milled. So uh, I do need to do a little bit of sanding on it. Uh, but yeah, that's that piece.
Right, now we can just take those apart. Right. These again, just half inch alley. Uh, use the milling machine on these sections. You can see there's quite a, quite a few variations on the depth in there. Um, it was a little bit awkward to do when it's the first time I've used a milling machine, so as I think I've done all right with it really. Uh, and then milled out the back and milled out this recess for the uh, aspheric dome. Um, uh, which you can see there. This is an aspheric torch lens. These are like six quid off the internet, so dead cheap uh, glass lens. Unfortunately, this one's shattered out the back when I was doing some grinding on it, and it seems to the vibration seems to have just shattered it. But uh, they're that cheap. I can just get other ones, and you get them to various sizes. So uh, very simple. And then this is the blade that was was half inch alley, but I had it had it milled down to eight mil because half inch was just too thick. Um, I used a four and a half inch angle grinder with sanding discs, not grinding discs, to take out the, the most of the material here, uh, all the way along the blade. And then what I did after that, I used a sixty grit aluminium oxide paper around a block, and I and I did it by hand, sanded the whole thing down. That's all both sides, all the blade uh, edge, try to get the edge as clean as I can, as sharp as I can without it actually being sharp, so it's it's rounded but it looks like it's got a blade on it. Um, you probably notice where it goes in here, uh, that was because I made the mistake of using a guide on the bandsaw instead of just trying to use the pencil mark and as I used the guide the blade started to veer in and uh, I lost four mil on one side of the blade, so I had to match it on the other side. And I thought, rather than take it all the way down, what I'd do is just tr stop it there and see how I get on with sanding it, see how it works. And it, you know, it's it's worked out okay. It could be better. You can see like there's a little bit of a dimple there, and it's actually almost identical on this side, whereas that side it's it's perfectly flush. Um, but not a lot I can do about this. Uh, this was done by somebody else. It's just a, a quick laser cut. Uh, design but it, even though it's quite small with the aspheric lens it blows it up to be much bigger and uh, seems to suit very well oh yeah I should mention as well that um, <clears throat> all the sanding <clears throat> I used a mouse sander on the top surfaces of this because um, it was extremely rough after I'd done the milling uh, and then after that I used a 60 grit aluminium oxide paper by hand, then I think it was 120 grit, then I think it was 280, and then I think I finished on 400, basically wet and dry sandpaper, but I just used it dry, I didn't actually wet it, and that's the same with the blade as well. Um, and it's pretty shiny, I mean a buffing wheel with some polish on that would, wouldn't do it any harm to be honest, it, it would uh, really bring it up beautifully along that edge. And, uh, and that's it, that's the sword.